Welcome to Stoneware Birds' sixth video in the series Catching Creativity, Not the Coronavirus. If you've seen any of my other videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below and like because it just helps more people get to see the videos. Um, but this one is the sixth and it's probably the hardest exercise I'm going to ask you to do. Well, it's certainly the hardest so far. And it's about movement, trying to draw movement. And as we're all locked up and we haven't got any life models to draw, I found a little bit of film that the BBC has put on by um, Carlos Acosta, the choreographer from the Royal Birmingham Royal Ballet. And it's a little film of the swan. And I'm basically going to do an exercise and there'll be a link to the BBC site underneath this video. I'm going to do an exercise where I'm going to look and watch this dancer for a few minutes. And then I'm going to close the computer and make no more than six, maybe five or six marks, five or six lines from my memory of her dancing. And then I'm going to do it again and again. And I'll show you the video of me doing that, but just to give you instructions. And what I'm using to draw with are these Conte sticks. And the reason I'm using them is they're a lovely soft, they make a lovely soft, strong mark. If you don't have anything like this, that's fine. Just use your kids' crayons, some felt tips, coloured pencils, anything you've got that makes a nice bold mark. I want you to make really strong bold marks because this is not about being precious at all. It is about giving an impression. And I want you to do, every time you look and then make your five marks, I want them to be in a different colour. So that's why I've used those. And I've also used a bigger piece of paper than normal, but do what you can. So basically, you're going to watch her dance and I want you to really observe her arms, her legs, the angles that she gets, the way her muscles in her legs are moving, her back, the way her head goes. Really, really let all those images kind of sear into your brain and then close the computer. I don't want you to look at it. This is not about drawing from a still image. It's about drawing from what you've observed and what you've absorbed. So please Watch me doing it, you'll get an idea of what I mean, and then do your best. And if you'd like to share those on my at Stoneware Birds Facebook page, it's so lovely to see what people have drawn, and it really helps me think about how to help you with the next video. So here's my finished drawing and as you can see it doesn't look anything like a person, it doesn't look like the dancer because that's not the point. What it hopefully does convey is movement and if you can get this kind of movement into your lines, even when you're drawing something which isn't moving, it conveys life. And you can do this kind of exercise if you're lucky enough to have a person, you can do it again and again, you can find other videos that you might find on the internet that you might want to try drawing, but don't freeze them and draw it. Do it from your memory. Do it from a sense of the movement. So if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button below. It not only means you will receive notifications as soon as a new video comes online that will help promote this video to other YouTube users. And I love to get questions and comments and please like the video. And if anyone can be brave and share their drawings on my Facebook page, at Stoneware Birds, it really helps me see what you're doing. I love to see what you're doing, but it also really helps me plan my next video and think, how can I help people? How can I explain things better?